Hey everyone, Hunter from Mount Secrets here. Today I'm going to be showing you all the new fish from our latest shipment. Got lots of beautiful peacocks and haps in, and this is a bigger shipment than usual. Got a lot of fish, so make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all the new fish. And then all the fish you see will be on our website, www.ryanseckles.com. There'll be a link in the description and comments down below. And then if you have any questions or need help ordering, feel free to reach out to us. All right, let's get started. Here we go. I got a few nice Eureka Reds in. Extra large and extra large plus. I got a nice blue gold Mallory in. Five inch. A few nice Ravasi. Five inch XL plus. XL plus. Blue Red with Peacocks. That's an extra large male. Four and a half inch. That's an extra large plus. Four, um, 5 inch. I got a few blue neons. They're starting to color up nice. 4.5 inch. And then 5 inch males. Here's the 5 inch male. And we got one of them. Got some big, big uh, Nagara flame tails in. One five inch, and then the rest are jumbos, five and a quarter or six inch. Great color on them. There's a bigger Yuka red, five inch. Another really nice blue red OB. He's got a good amount of red. Got one blue dragon blood, XL plus in. Really nice blue and a good amount of red. I got a few lemon jakes. I got XO plus and then jumbos. Great color on these guys. The other ones have more yellow, like that one there. Really nice deep purple to them. And a few more big bossy in there. And then I got a Jumbo Tetrastigma. Oh, and then I forgot, I got a uh, Star Sapphire in, Jumbo. I missed the Tetrastigma, but I got the Star. Star Sapphire, Jumbo, five and a quarter, six inch. Not a whole lot of chips yet, but you can see a few little chips in there. They're coming in. Anywhere you see where it's got like a speck there, 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 has a chip. Just not big yet. He's the size now where you should start getting a lot any day now. Right, the catch a stigma does not want to be caught. Let's see if you can work with me a little bit. And he does not want to. Give me a minute, guys. Doing it one hand, it's, uh, it's not super easy. Give it a last try, see if I can get him. There we go. Okay. Let's see, I was about to give up on him. He's Jumbo. Really nice color. I got some smaller ones too, I'll show you later in the video. Got some big six inch Jumbo Plus VC10s. Great color. This is a staple for any Peacock Hap tank. I'd highly recommend them. Really nice pattern and really nice color. 
Nova Blue Long Nose. Beautiful fish, great egg spots in some of them. But Jumbo Plus Males, basically full color. You need stuff to bright up, brighten up your tank. These are go-to fish right now. Might just kicked off. Let me turn it back on real quick. There we go. We got a big Rostratus in here. I want to show you. I got two six, to, two seven to eight inch Rostratus. They're just a pain to catch sometimes, especially one-handed. There we go, I got this one. Let's see if you can. Give me one minute, I'm gonna put the phone down for just a second. Alright, here we go, sorry about that. Seven to eight inch Rostratus. Active bred and raised, very healthy males, great color, they're doing great. You got a big tank, you got big fish, you want something um, that stands out, a Rashadis is definitely a staple. They're gentle giants too, they hold their own great, and they really don't bother the other fish. They don't try to pick fights. And then, I got Bucorodiaceae females in, no males unfortunately, but if you've got a male and you want to breed them, I've got some. Uh, you, can, you can see the females even have a good amount of color compared to a lot of other hap species that are, that are gray or brown. These have a good amount of yellow, some color to them, so if you want a nice species only tank, breeder tank for your house, they're a good option. But uh, you're going to need a big male if you want to breed um, with these females. I got two in here, seven inch, and then I've got more down there um, from a previous shipment. They are about seven inch too, six to seven inch, but I got eight on the website, so if you wanna put a little group together, you can. I've got some big ones in here to show you. Living Stone Eye, Jumbo Plus, six to seven inches. Good amount of blue com coming in. They usually don't have that much blue when I sell them. OB Comps, seven inch males. Great color. Uh, for people that um, <laughs> have some bigger fish, have a bigger tank, at least 125 or bigger, and you're looking for something rare that's very hard to find, I've got something for you. This is a Malachromus gracilis. Very, very few breeders I've, I've ever seen sell them to begin with, but they are near impossible to find. I've only got one source I get them from, and I only get them maybe every six months or so when they have an extra male. So very hard to come by, but eight to nine inches. Ooh. They're related to the Mylochromus Stitches, if you know what that is. I breed those and I have them every once in a while, but it doesn't want to hold still. Give me a minute. Come on, buddy. It's okay. There we go. Try not to hold, try not to hold them out too long, but there we go. Great color. Looks a lot better in person. He's got that awesome torpedo shape to him. But eight to nine inches, big boy. Another really cool rare one, I got them in the net. Probably never seen this one before, it's still new to the hobby. Not many breeders have even carried these yet. Cyanus and Bobway Rocks. This is a six to seven inch Jumbo, Jumbo Plus male. It's a really beautiful fish. Really unique body shape to them, um, in my opinion. Their head's a little stubby. You can see how they got a very small head to them. And their, their gill plate stops here and the rest of their body. Some of the other haps, like look at this Obi Comp for example. Its head, it head goes all the way back here. It's much bigger. He's got a more blocky head to him. But um, yeah, very cool fish. If you want something rare, unique for your tank, and he's got great color too, here you go. Pomba Rocks, I only got one big male in this time. 
No smaller ones. Jumbo Plus, great color. Beautiful egg spots. I got two or three big Mandoko White Lips. Jumbo Plus. Albino Comps. Jumbo, I've got a nicer one in here too. I forgot to show in that tank. I've got some big Barracuda. Uh, Jumbo Plus. If you're not familiar with the Barracuda, they look like saltwater salt water Barracudas or a sardine. And they actually have a little small teeth, but um, people people give them a bad rap like the uh, Malawi Eye Biters Compressips. Um, but they, they aren't very aggressive at all. You can see I got them mixed with Peacocks and Haps with no issues. I've mixed them with Mabuna, no issues, all different sizes. And then I've had ones together, um, multiple males together, breeder groups, or just in a male tank with no issues. They're uh, a pretty chill fish. I've never seen them get too aggressive. Got a really nice jumbo boiley eye camera doesn't pick it up very well but it's more of a reddish orange actually he's, he's got a really nice dark color to him Royal Rostratus I got a jumbo male here and then I also got a jumbo plus really beautiful fish Obi Peacock jumbo with the sort of colors this is the orange one we also got blueberries. I think the blueberries sold already. And then, like I said, I got a nicer co oh, about a comp. Here he is here. If I if I can get him to get in. Yeah. So this is how they look when they cut up a little more. They got a uh, bluish pink sheen to them. Really underrated fish. All right, next tank. These guys are a little smaller. We got smaller Redfin Borley Eye in here. Four and a half inch, extra large, and then extra large plus. Yeah, that's an extra large plus. Smaller Royal Stratus, XL plus. For Cicada. Young male, Jumbo plus. No color yet, but like I said, guaranteed male. It's vented, very easy to tell at the size. They're just very late bloomers, so they don't color up until they're a lot bigger, closer to, most of the time, closer to seven to eight inches to nine inches. Most of the time, eight to nine inches. And Cygnus, XL Plus, great color. Spinal Notice Tanzania, if you're trying to get specific, but still common Cygnus. Couple more assorted OB peacocks in here. I got some Protomelis similis. Haven't had these in a while. I got two five inch nice males. Uncommon fish in the hobby, still not seen that very often. They are similar to a touch of stigma in my opinion, but um, also looks like they have like a little bit of Lepinops mixed in. But they're pure, pure species. But uh, Protomelis similis, really cool fish. Yeah, there's the other one, the color too. Oh, and one more I want to show you. I have a Fire and Ice OB Blueberry OB Fryer Eye. You're going to see one on the website, Jumbo. And it's going to be this exact male you see in my hand. You can see that this is why we call them a Fire and Ice. They've got the, uh, they've got the red here, reddish orange, Fire and Ice Blueberry OB Fryer Eye. So, red. Fire, blueberry, and then fire and ice for the white here. And then I also got some giant haps in there. I'm gonna keep moving, but they're similar to like the Nova Blue Long Nose. They just get a little more red to them, a little different shade blue. But I've got four and a half inch males, extra large. I got this one in. Uh, I believe it's an uh, uh, Obi Azores. 
from the uh, the color and the shape. I'm not 100% sure. My guess would be Obiazorus. If you're interested in him, let me know. Um, I'm not going to ask a whole lot for him compared to um, what other breeders may. It'll be more than some of the than what the standard OB Peacock costs. But let's see. That's like probably four and a half, five inch male. I'd, I'd probably need like like seventy dollars if you're interested in him. But it looks like a platinum OB Azorus. Uh, OB Firehaps, OB Super Red Empress. Four and a half inch young males, starting to color up nice. Bukonotos, young males, five inch, just starting to get some color. Smaller red from Boral Eyes. I got some Xerox in here I'll try to catch. I also found a catch of stigma right here. It's a really nice Royal Stratus. Oh, that guy's a stud. Look at him. He's maybe five inches. He's got this white, like, platinum sheen to him. But he's, like, full color for five inch. That's crazy. Oh, I got some... forgot about these. I got some beautiful OB Xerox in, OB Yellow Blaze. I got another one that's even nicer. But I think that was extra large male. I've got another one that's four inch that's probably a little nicer. Starry Nights. I got a, um, this is a large plus, and I should have an extra large too. Smaller Insignis, more Borley Eyes. Here's one of the giant hats so you can see. Forgot I had them in this tank. But, uh, yeah, nice blue fish. Those are pretty hard to come by too. Not many people know about them. Toy. Well, I got one this time. XL Plus. And then I think I have some Eureka Red, some Xerox in there. Oh, I got one Hawk, I'll try to catch. And then also I got a Touch Stigma, but I'm trying to make this video not too long. Touch Stigmas have good color. This is the Hawk, he actually has some color. You can see it a little bit of blue. Looks a little better in person, but he's got some blue coming in. A little bit of other colors coming in. But, not only Hawk, oh, here's a Xerox ended up in a net. I've got a few extra large males. And here's the, uh, ended up in the net too. Here's the large plus OB Xerox. You can see that, what I was saying, that was, he was really nice. Yeah, look at him. Beautiful male. Great body shape, lots of yellow. He's got the blaze that bleeds into the body. It's actually a German yellow blaze, but I just saw him as, um, actually a German OB yellow blaze, but I just saw him as OB yellow blaze. Here's the smallest guys. I got some smaller star sapphires. Large, three and a half inch. So if you got smaller three to four inch fish, there you go. You can save a lot of money on a smaller one, but you just gotta be patient. It's gonna take a while for them to chip and grow starting from this size. And there will be Red Empress, four and a half inch. A little spot sand eye mail. We got two of them actually. Yeah, if you got smaller fish, this is a this will be a cool one to add. I rarely have the spot sand eyes in because they usually come with no color, so I make sure they they have color when I sell them. I do have one bigger male. I'll show you here in a, in like five minutes, um, maybe less. I'll show them right after this. Uh, he's in a glass tank, so you can see him really good. Yurka Red, smaller Broly Eyes, smaller Insignis. I got some Albus Candy, but they're just too small. I'm going to hold on to them. Some smaller Bukonotos. I think an Albino Taiwan. What's this here? Ooh, Albino Azores. I got two in. I haven't had these in probably a year. I got this one. Five inch XL Plus. And then I got another nice one I separated. I think I have a swallowtail in here, some assorted OB peacocks. Uh, Mylochromus plagiotania. 
This should be the large plus, and then I have an extra large. Only have two. Haven't had these on the website for a little while. So I was saying at the beginning of the video, I, I got quite a few more fish than usual. Um, so the website's going to be a little more stocked than it usually is. And there's going to be more sizes, more species. And some of the stuff that's been out of stock for a while should be in stock now. So make sure to just, even if you want to skip some parts of the video, just you can quickly browse the mails in stock on the website. It'll take you less than five minutes to browse through it all and you can see if anything catches your eye. But that's about it for this side, except uh, except for this tank. Let me get the, uh, I'll come back to that. I gotta get the towel and wipe it off. The uh, It got wet from the net splashing against it. But uh, I'll show you, got a few glass tanks with fish to show you. This is a saffron. Not the Dragon of Blood saffron, it's the uh, pure, uh, well, they're a line bread hybrid, but the pure saffrons from Germany. Beautiful fish. I breed these as well, uh, but I rarely get them this big. This is a four and a half inch male. Here's the albino azurus that I was telling you that I separated. Almost like a albino red empress, but they don't get as much red. But really, really cool fish. That's a five inch male. And then down here I got that spot sand eye I was talking about. XL plus five inch and then I've got this guy this is a sunburst fryer eye jumbo wait for him to turn but he was a breeder male um, but he's an absolute stud he's gonna be under the snow white sunburst fryer eye but I wouldn't I wouldn't consider him that I'm gonna have it as um, sunburst fryer eye red white uh, and he's gonna be a little more pricey than usual because he's a very very nice specimen here This is probably one of the nicest ones I'll ever sell. I rarely ever um, Get ones this big and I breed and raise these as well, and uh, I never get them this big they, they never last that long I sell them before they get four and a half inch and this guy's almost five and a half inch because he was a breeder male But he's still young got a lot of years left him in him and he's got incredible color. It's uh that orangish color you're seeing is a lot more red in person, at least to me. But I think I got, let me get the towel, wipe off the uh, tank, I'll show you that. And then I got one other bat to show you, and then we're done. I know the video is starting to get long, but we're almost done. All right, I got ruby reds in. I haven't had these in a while. Um, my private breeders finally get, had some big enough, so I've got some ready. These aren't gonna be the Thailand ruby reds that are bright red. These are the US um, Bren Ray strains. Um, I, don't try, I don't like to deal with the Thailand ones, even when they say it's not hormoned. It usually is, or it's genetics have been hormo hormoned somewhere along the line. So. This strain, they get a little more blue, and the the red, it's more of an orangish red, and never really gets into full red, kind of like what you may see online. But uh, I'd say a step above a German red for these. But you, you can see on, on the camera, it looks more of like a yellowish orange, but in person, it's more of like an orange, and they're gonna get more of a reddish orange when they're bigger. And I also got one bang of sunshine I can sell. The other one's got to go with the females. All these gray ones in here are, are um, Benga females, except six of them. Those little bit lighter ones are lemon jake females. It's pretty easy for me to see the difference. But uh, see, the Bengas are darker like that. I've got 15 of them, and then a breeder group. They're like four inch. Males a little bigger. And then I got four to five inch lemon jake females. See them right there. There's one there. There's two there. I got a pretty group, pretty group of them as well. And then I'll show you the last fat, and then we are done. Turn off the air to it. This is just going to be Mabuna and Victorians. I got to turn the light on, it kicked off.
There we go. All the uh, timers are, all the lights are automatic. You may, be, may have heard me say this before in other videos because I, I usually do them Friday night. Um, just before the lights kick off and sometimes I, I drag it out where the video, by the time the video is about done, the, the lights are kicking off. But there's three different rows that are on different timers. So we, uh, we have it gradually kick off. If they all kick off at once, the, the fish freak out and they may jump out um, from the sudden shock of it going from light to dark. But uh, yeah, they slowly kick off till there's just one light left and then it goes off, so. But that's what I was just turning on. So start off with these. Red Juma Island Nairai. If you're looking for red, these other ones I'm going to show you, all these are great options for your tank. Just make sure if you add one, most of these are four and a half to five inch. I think I got one jumbo too. Yeah, that may be the jumbo, I can't tell. But um, just remember these are pretty scrappy. They tend to not be aggressive as long as you stock it correctly where you put these in with bigger fish. If, uh, if you put these in with smaller fish, then they may get aggressive. Just be, be cautious. To where, um, aware of that so if you if you want one of these try to make sure your fish are that size or maybe closer to to five six inches or even bigger these can hold their own against fish twice their size and twice to three times the size with no issues my silver deeps they're just starting to transition from that here's a male that's just starting to see he's got more of the yellow like a female would he's starting to get the blue and then here's one that's almost fully transitioned to the blue-black. But I've got large plus, three and a half to four inch, and then large, just under three, three, uh, three and a half inch. Hajo Melandi Chismulu, big males. The female sold, I had five females, but they sold, but I got big males, jumbo. I got one or two extra large plus, and then I've got one beast that's five and a half to six inch. Just not sure which one that is without measuring. But these are a very cool Mabuna. And at the size, if you got big fish, you can mix these with pe peacocks and haps too and you shouldn't have any issues. I, I do it all the time with all these tanks. Just gotta make sure you do it correctly. Don't have more peacocks, don't have more Mabuna or Victorians than there are peacocks and haps where they're not outnumbered. So if you've got 20 peacocks and haps, you can add two or three to four Mabuna or Victorians with no issues. Then I'll try to catch a few more and then I'll wrap this up. And I also got some females, so if you do want to put a breeder group together, let me know. They're not going to be on the website, though. This is what the females look like. But yeah, these males... Are beautiful. And they're still a little color down from shipping, they'll color up even more. Yeah, these all look about the same. N nice color, that's about it. That may be the big sucker there. Yeah, that looks like the five and a half to six inch um, Hydro Melandi. But uh, we're almost at the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to cut it and finish it up here. This should have been the last tank, so we should be all set with showing you all the new fish. And then, as you may already know, this is the rest of my facility, and I got another building, so we got plenty of other fish available that will be on the website as well. So you only saw a sliver of what's going to be on the website when you go online. But uh, that's it. All the fish you saw on the website, www.ronsecklist.com. You can sort by males in stock. Um, so you only see uh, the males. You won't see females or breeder groups. Uh, it'll just show you what males are in stock and available. Uh, and then if you have any, any questions or need help or confused, anything like that, just reach out to us. We'll, uh, we'll answer you pretty quickly and, uh, and get you helped out.
But uh, that's about it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to uh, follow the channel and uh, watch for updates on the uh, third facility, fourth facility that we just put up, uh, the 4,000 square foot one. Uh, spray foam should be coming in a week or two, uh, maybe three, to get that done. And then we're going to start setting it up, get the ACs, heaters, start getting tanks, start getting supplies, plumbing, wood, all the stuff we need, and then we'll start showing videos of the progress as we start building it out. But uh, yeah. that is it. All right.